All right, so I finally got around to watching The Lodge. This is a psychological horror movie. It's very split down the middle. A lot of people love it, a lot of people hate it. It's kind of like Hereditary, and this movie has a couple of other things about it that are like Hereditary. You got like miniatures and this dollhouse that opens up with that, just like Hereditary. The score is very, you know, eerie, and the, the tone of the movie is very dark and grim. The, just the whole movie. There's not a moment in this movie that's light. There's no levity. There's no, like, happy moments. No one's happy in this movie the entire runtime. Like, it's just a bummer. It's one of those movies, so you have to go into it knowing that. So I guess that would bring me to my positives, is how dark and grim this movie is, the consistent tone of the film. I really like that. Hereditary is one of my favorite movies of all time, especially when it comes to horror. Best horror movie of the past decade, at least. And this one just has that same feel. It's just a dark, miserable, grim uh, ride to the end. These characters, there's a lot of tension between the kids and the mom, especially the kid from It. I don't know the actor's name, but he plays like Billy in It. Um, and just there's a lot of tension between these characters. You get why they feel their way, the way they do. It's a good character development. I thought the acting by these kids was pretty good, especially from the mom or the stepmom. She has this history that made her kind of a little, you know, rough around the edges. She's got a tough history that I won't go into. I don't want to spoil anything, but I thought the acting was good, the tension between the characters, and just the twists and turns within the movie. It's one of those movies where, like, a little past the halfway mark, you're like, okay, this is either happening, or this is happening, or maybe this. And I like a movie that does that. I was able to predict basically where it was going to lead and so it's not like an ending that really shocked me because I kind of saw it coming and I feel like on a second watch it would be uh, of course more obvious but some people might actually find it too obvious I don't know but I like a movie that does that where you're like theorizing throughout because you're actually interested you're engaged you give a shit you're like all right I wonder what's happening it could be this and maybe this is happening or that so I like that aspect of the movie, a movie that makes you think throughout and you actually care. It grabs your attention. There's shocking moments. There's a shocking death. It just comes out of nowhere. It's just, it's kind of, it reminds me of like Invisible Man. Not a whole lot of blood or gore or anything like that, but I just enjoyed the ride. I was engaged. I found the story interesting. It's nothing really all that new or like creative. I think it's been done before, but I enjoyed the ride, and that's what matters. It could be the same story we've seen a thousand times, but did I enjoy that ride? Yes, I did. The pace for some people might be a little bit too slow. You know, not a whole lot's happening, but I didn't find the pace that slow at all. There might have been like one moment where I was starting to kind of feel like they could have tightened it up a bit, but nothing that bad. I, I didn't find it boring, so... That's just my take on it. Like, I don't think Hereditary is boring, so that might say something. A lot of people think that movie's just boring as fuck, and I'm like, really? I, I think every scene in that movie is necessary, and it fits, and it's perfect to me. I fucking love Hereditary. I didn't love this movie, but it's one of the better horror movies this year, easily. Uh, the only negative would be, like, a little nitpick. Like, I feel like the third act could have been a little bit, you know, bigger like a little bit more scarier maybe a little bit more you know darker like it's already dark but it could have went for it more they could have did a little bit more they could have ramped up the tension more for me i didn't feel like there was like this big crescendo at the end where it's like oh shit and it was you know like hereditary and once it gets towards the end crazy shit's happening left and right it's like oh my god like oh my she saw her head off like great third act but in this one i just feel like there could have been a little bit more at the end, but it's just a little nitpick. Like, I think the movie was good overall. I enjoyed it. Hardly anything negative to say about it. I, I like the route they went. I like the little theories that it presented throughout. It kind of led you down a couple of different paths, like maybe this is happening or maybe it could be this. And then it ends up going in one direction, and maybe it'll take you by surprise or maybe it won't. But either way, I enjoyed it. It's a very... Uh, well-made, well-directed movie. So when it comes to The Lodge, I highly recommend that you check this one out, give it a shot, and go out and buy it. So those are just my quick thoughts on The Lodge. Did you enjoy this movie as much as me, or do you think it's just too slow? Not very climatic at all. Do you think it's just 
like I said, boring. Some people think it's boring. Some people think it probably won't think it's scary. You know, there's not enough creepy imagery or anything like that. There's no gore or anything. Some people might be put off by that, but there's boobs. So if you're looking for boobs, you're gonna get that. So, hey, you got that at least. <laughs> I always point out boobs in my channel, so I felt like I had to say it. There's boobs. And I think this actress in this movie is related to Elvis Presley, I heard. So I didn't know that. That's interesting to hear. But anyways, I'm rambling at this point. Thank you so much for joining me tonight. If you like what you've seen here, you can hit this like button, share with all your friends, and become a subscriber today just by clicking on my cartoon face in about five seconds. And until next time, I'll feed your seed.